The Niagara Pump House is excited to welcome mixed media artist Yanni Fraser and her exhibition entitled Reflections. Reflections is about urbanization and globalization, which are really phenomena that are changing our whole environment and our whole way of living, really. And we're right in the middle of it in Niagara here. We're between two big cities, Toronto, which I'm sure we all go to and experience some of the things that we're seeing in these pieces, like highways and congestions. And it's also about globalization. Like driving in today, you're hearing about people trying to find a place in the world. Um, with uh, displacement. So that's what these pieces are about. What are some of the different techniques you implemented for this exhibition? A lot of it is mixed media. The book pieces are actually porcelain mosaic. I come from an etching background at the Ontario College of Art. So this is like printmaking, so I'm impressing things into thin sheets of porcelain. I'm uh, wiping a chromate off with, and the black stays in the indented part of the porcelain. And then I set those as a mosaic tile, along with uh, timepieces and natural uh, objects like branches and things that I find. And also a whole series of uh, portraits of people behind little glass beads that become part of the pieces. Can you explain how this installation deals with the time and process of urbanization? Time, uh, it's been a theme of mine for quite a new few years, and it's about change and transformation. I came uh, from Holland as a teenager, and uh, from a very old city that had a medieval center still. So I experienced that whole thing about the change and the kind of future shock that happens when you go to places like uh, Mississauga, where, where I grew up as a teenager. So, and, but urbanization is um, worldwide. It's a real phenomenon. How does the viewer become a part of the work? The viewer becomes part of the work by the reflective and mirrored surfaces that I use. And uh, so you're part of what you're seeing in the photographs. I take all the photographs in the pieces, uh, and then collage with those. I cut them, I alter them. In the book pieces, I put them in between the pages so they become three-dimensional. Uh, but you're part of it when you're viewing the piece. Do you have a favorite piece in this collection? I'm beginning to work with light images. And the last installation I did in um, Cambridge, I used light boxes. So this is something that I'm exploring and I'm very interested in. So the found piece on the end there um, is a light box and the mailbox is over the light box. So that's something I'm interested in exploring further. <laughs> I like the idea of using the natural elements too, like all these branches and roots that I use in my pieces do reflect on where we came from and our new settlement and our new, our new home and getting attached to place here. Reflections will be on display here at the Niagara Pump House Art Centre until September 25th. For more information on the exhibition or the artist, visit niagarapumphouse.ca. Reporting for The Source, I'm Nora Jean Howard.